Okay, you guys. So, when ColourPop announced that they were coming out with yet another monochromatic eyeshadow collection, the new Smoke Show, I decided that I was going to dig through my current palettes and find out if I had some dupes to create a look that I would do using the Smoke Show palette from ColourPop. And this is what I came up with. Hey, y'all. <laughs> so... I, as I was digging through my palettes, I came across this new Cara Beauty palette that I actually just bought. And although this is a very beautiful, colorful palette, I noticed that the whole bottom row was nothing but grays and silvers and a black. So it's basically a nice dupe for the new ColourPop Smoke Show. Now, I decided to use some tape today so I can have a nice clean line for this smoky eye that I'm going to create. Now, to start out this look, I went into the lightest gray in this palette, very, very light shadow, and just placed that all over my lid area. I'm kind of using it to set my base, as well as put down a nice shadow that I can blend all of the darker grays and black into. And this color laid down very, very nicely, you guys. Next, I'm going into this medium gray shade, and I'm taking that in my crease area. Now, I'm gently blending this out. I'm taking my time building it up because as this is a new palette, I wasn't sure exactly how the pigmentation is, but as you can see, it is building up beautifully. I mean, it is the exact shade that's in the pan. Now to smoke out this look, I'm going into the black, but I'm just gently building this black up. Black is a shadow where if you place too much of it down, it's pretty much impossible to fix. <laughs> it's very, very hard to fix an eye look if you use too much black. So I'm just gently building this up slowly, nicely blending it into those grays. I'm just taking that same brush with that medium gray shade and blending out the edge of that outer corner. Now for my lid area, I'm going into this beautiful gray shimmer shadow and I am wetting my brush just to place that down on the middle portion of my lid. And as you can see, this is a gorgeous shadow. Very, very pretty, very true to color and nicely pigmented. Now I am going back into my outer corners with a little bit of that black that's left over on that brush. Now for that pop on the inner portion of my lid, I'm going into this really bright light silver shimmer shadow and just placing that on the inner portion of my lid right next to that darker gray shimmer. Just taking my time, basically creating a cut crease with these shimmer shadows making sure to blend that gray shadow in with that lighter, brighter shimmer shadow. So far, the colors in this palette are very nice and pigmented and they're performing beautifully. Now, on this next step, I'm taking my Pixie by Petra. This is one of my glitter palettes and I'm taking some of that white glitter and placing it on my lid. But first I'm going in with some of my NYX glitter glue. Now, if you don't like glitter, you can completely skip this part of the look. You don't have to add the glitter. But I felt like since the ColourPop collection has glitters in it as well, I may as well use some of the glitters that I have in my collection just so that I can have a dupe of what I would create with the ColourPop. And as you can see that glitter it's just adding an extra dimension of shine and just kind of glitz to this smoky eye. Going back in with a little bit of that medium gray shade just to blend everything together. And as you can see, that tape created a very nice, precise line for this look. I'm just adding a little bit of black liquid eyeliner to the upper portion of my lid. I didn't need to do like a really dramatic wing for this because with it being so smoky, 
it kind of creates its own wing look. For my lower lash line, I'm going in with some of my Milani Stay Put Black Waterproof Liner. And to smoke out my lower lash line, I'm going into this dark gray satin. I didn't realize it was a satin shadow until I started using it, but I think it ended up looking really, really nice with this eyeshadow look. But I'm just using that to smoke out my lower lash lines. Now for the inner pop, I'm going into my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow, and this is the color Tassel. Spraying my brush and just placing that on the lower lash line, the inner portion, as well as bringing it up into the corner of my eye. Now you guys, this is honestly probably the best inner corner pop <laughs> shadow that I have in my collection. The ColourPop tassel, it just gives you that instant brightness and instant pop for your inner corner. Now I'm just going in with some mascara on my upper as well as on my lower lashes just to add that bit of drama to this smoky eye. I decided to go with a nude lip. I really wanted to do a bold red lip today but I'm going with nude just to keep my lips nice and simple. Going over that nude lip with my Fenty Gloss Balm lip gloss. And to set this look in place, I'm using my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And this is the look that I came up with you guys to dupe the ColourPop Smoke Show Collection. I think I did a pretty good job. I can't really see myself doing any other types of look with that eyeshadow palette. So for once, maybe I've convinced myself that I don't need to buy that new ColourPop eyeshadow palette. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me create this smoke show dupe type of look. Thank you so much for watching you guys and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!